Hello, Father Huito, once again from the Diocese of Sacramento. My warmest greetings to all of you. Let go and let God. Let go all the worries and anxieties in life and let God. Let God take over. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Hakuna Matata. Don't worry. Be happy. We have the Lord in our life and He will never leave us alone. Today is April 27 and it's Wednesday and we are still on the second week of Easter. Today, I will be meeting on the famous Gospel of John. I think we all know that. John 3, 16. For God to love the world that He gave His only begotten Son that everyone who believes in Him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned. But whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but the people prefer darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come towards the light so that his works might be not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. God so loved the world. He gave his best gift to us in the person of Jesus Christ. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. God's love is self-giving especially on the cross. It is said that the love has many meanings. Others say it is, cannot be truly defined. But many agree that the love is an expression of an inner desire, especially in our hearts. That inner desire is to give oneself away. If we love somebody, we are willing to give ourselves to be part of their lives and we are willing to make sacrifices for the good of others. Love is not love until it is given away to the beloved. We come closer to an experience of who God is by His self-giving love. He gave everything to us, His life on the cross in order for us to have eternal life. God gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Redeemer. In loving, God gave His Son. It is God Himself through His Son, the Word of God made flesh and dwelt among us. All of us are asked to embrace to accept that mutual self-giving of love from the Father. Jesus Christ is the image of that self-giving love manifested in the flesh in also the cross of Christ. True love is not simply an emotion or a feeling. True love, it is God's self-giving at work in our human lives. God's motive in His self-giving and by giving His only begotten Son is that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. The goal of God's love is eternal life, heaven. When we live eternal life, we already begin eternal life here on earth. The God who is love is eternal. In our unity with God's love, we live with God, in God and through God. And this is eternity. This beautiful gospel reminds us that God did not send His Son in the person of Jesus Christ into the world to condemn us, to condemn the world, 
but the world might be saved through him. So my brothers and sisters, every time we celebrate the Holy Eucharist, the Eucharistic meal, it is a good reminder that God provides us food from heaven, that God's love is a perfect sacrifice has been offered in order for us to enjoy eternal life. Don't miss the sacrament of His love. It is the holy sacrifice of the Mass. God bless you all and have a wonderful day to all of you. Blessings to all of you. Bye.